I'm Teacher Patty, and I'm a teacher from Options for Learning, and I read the story titled Not Norman, A Goldfish Story by Kelly Bennett and illustrated by Noah Z. Jones. And this story is just about a little boy um, that received a goldfish for his birthday. So in the beginning of, beginning of the story, he does not want a goldfish for a pet because he says that he can't do anything. Um, he can't run and catch or sleep on his bed and cuddle and be furry and soft that the fish just swims around and around and around. And I guess, you know, he thinks that it's not fun, you know, having a fish for a pet. So throughout the story, he tries to get rid of that pet. He's trying to give it, um, talk it up to his friends and see if they want it. And he takes it to the pet store and tries to see, you know, if he can exchange it. <laughs> so anyway, um, at the end of the story, he does decide to keep it. And he, he sees all the great characteristics that this fish has, and he decides to keep it. So I thought a fun activity to do at home would be to encourage your child to choose some animals from their home. Any toys, stuffed animals. So they can use stuffed animals. They can use different toys that are um, animals. You know, I'm sure they have big toys, little toys, any kind of toy um, that's an animal. Or you can even, if you don't have toys that are animals, you can even have your child think about different animals. So you can have your child think of different animals and you can just write it down on a piece of paper. So say you have your child choose an animal. What kind of animal would make a great pet? And you can have your child decide. And they could say cat. Maybe they think a cat would be a great pet. And you could draw the little image if you want, or just the word cat. Um, you can just write the word, or you can, like I said, you can draw the little image if you choose. Um, if you don't, you can just write the word. And you can just talk about what, why would a cat make a great pet? So they can give you all the reasons why they think the cat would make a great pet. Um, they can even say any type of animal. Maybe they want to say an octopus. And I'm just going to write the word octopus. So if your child gives you that word, say, um, what animals do you want to choose? What animals do you want to choose um, that would make a great pet? And if they say octopus, write the word down and you ask them, why would an octopus be a great pet? What characteristics or what kind of skills and um, what kind of things can they do if they were your pet? So you get them to think, um, have fun with language because, you know, most of us don't have octopuses as um, pets. But it's just fun. It's just a fun activity to get your child thinking and just having fun um, conversation. So maybe they said, oh, an octopus would be fun because they have a lot of legs. And that means they can hold a lot of things for me. Maybe they can hold all my toys for me. <laughs> right? They can say anything, really. So just it's just to have fun, um, to write the words. And like I said, if you do have the animals present, if you do have a variety of animals, you can just have your child choose one, or if you want to make it fun, um, you can throw them in a bag so they can dig in the bag and pick one, right? So that makes it a little bit more exciting. So you can ask them, oh, you got the dolphin. What? Why do you think the dolphin would make a great pet? So they would think about it. Hmm. What does a dolphin do that maybe a dog doesn't do or maybe a cat doesn't do? <gasps> I think a dolphin would make a great pet because he could go swimming with me. We could go swimming together. Or maybe I can hold on to his fin and we could go swimming and I could ride his back. And he can jump out of the water and go back in. So they can say uh, uh, many things 
It's just to have fun, to get their brains um, thinking, their ideas flowing, um, having their opinion, you know, matter and their words matter. Um, so I just thought it would be a fun activity to choose an animal, to choose a toy, and think of why would this make a great pet? Just like the story, it kind of goes along with the story. And you can also, to extend it, if you do have the toy, you can extend it by still using the, the paper and the marker, oops, and writing the word, the animal's name. You chose rabbit, let's write the word rabbit. Or have your child write the word rabbit and you can help them spell it out or if they can sound out the letters, even better. Um, just to extend the activity, get them writing and under they start understanding that each word, I mean, each letter creates a word. So if they know about letter sounds, maybe they can even sound it out. R, 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 A, 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 B, B. You can help them out with the sounds. There's a lot of ways um, you can extend activities, especially with writing. Writing is always a great extension when you have activities because you're encouraging, encouraging your child to write, to understand that letters make words. Um, and it's always a great extension for an activity. So another thing about these animals, so they are also, you know, noticing their characteristics and their qualities of a different animal. So this one has wings, right? So they know that the wings help birds fly. Or maybe they don't know and you're gonna help them. You know, this one has wings, so what can he do that would be different? So they can compare and contrast the different animals. What would be different that he can do and that the rabbit can do? So maybe your child can acknowledge that he has wings. <gasps> so this um, bird can fly up in the sky. So maybe he can help me get things that are up way in the tree so he can fly up there and get my ball for me that I threw in the in the tree or got stuck in the tree. And then this bunny, this rabbit, knows how to jump. So maybe we can have a jumping race. Maybe I can have the rabbit and I can have a jumping race because we both know how to jump. So it's just a fun activity to have fun with language, um, have your child think of different ideas, and just have fun, like I said, with these um, animals that they have or words that you can write, or you can even find um, animals in magazines. You can have them find animals for magazines, cut them out if you want, have them draw the picture. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this activity, um, but the main idea is for them to express themselves um, and also to compare animals and think of different reasons why a fish like Norman would make a great pet. So I hope you enjoy this home activity. And if you wanna join me in the read aloud for Not Norman, A Goldfish Story, you can see my other video that's posted um, with the read aloud. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.